his account and, and so I contacted him again and then he said that it was, it was a dark night when, when I finished and he must have mixed up his checkbooks but um, and then after that I just couldn't contact him at all uh, at all tried several times I drove back down and one of the tenants was there and um, and I asked where was James he said that she came to contact me and then he started sending me several emails saying that um, I had trespassed onto his property and as a, a citizen he had the right to um, look after his property and that there was guns on the property and that he'd use them if I came again And this is this is this is wacko stuff the guard you have to do uh, something yeah He's very strange, uh, Joe. He's a very strange. What did he say? What did he say about guns? Yeah, um, I have emails from, but he, he he said basically that the property they were armed on the property, and that if I kept coming looking for my money, I'm basically trespassing, and um, and that he, he would use the gun. That as a, as a citizen, he has a right to protect his property, and that the the um, tenants felt felt threatened by me you know it was actually just me and my stone were there Joe just went drove down looking for the money so he threatened to shoot you yeah and that you're not the first that we've heard yeah and this yeah. is this is quite recently yeah very recent Joe, and yeah. you, did you go to the Gardaí I, di- I didn't Joe no okay and I I, did. I I have several emails from uh, and he threatened me you know like saying if I went down there that his, his, his property was basically armed and that the, the tenants felt um, threatened by me and all. And would you be prepared to let the guard DC those emails? Oh yeah, Joe. If if they decided to investigate, which they yeah. must, they must, they must. Oh, this he, is he, dangerous he, stuff. Yeah, he's a, he's a disaster, Joe. And then he started telling me that his boiler didn't work after I was there. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I never. I was not. I wasn't on his boiler at all. I never touched his boiler. Yeah. But you never got a red cent out of him either. No, no I got uh, a, a, a false check, that was it. Yeah, bounce. And he, and bounce he, and said, he said it was too dark, he must have mixed his checkbooks up. Okay. Pat, you mind yourself. Yeah. Another another Patrick, Patrick Skelly. Uh, Patrick, did you, did, you? did you get a, a penny out of him? No, I did not. Okay. No, I didn't, did, get, I didn't get anything out when of you him. Went, all, when you went looking for your money, did he threaten you? Well, we didn't go looking. Well, what he done is uh, one Sunday morning, back, 7th of October, actually, last year, he uh, he rang our emergency number there and we answered it and he said his boost, water booster pump uh, in his property wasn't working and uh, could be sent out a, a pump technician, which we did. Mm-hmm. And he uh, went out and we repaired his pump for him. And uh, he... he um, contacted our, our guy to say he's on his way uh, he'd be there in a half an hour you know yeah. so a guy waiting around for him uh, to be paid uh, he never arrived and then after an hour uh, we rang we rang him and he said that he was broken down in some condra and uh, you know and he, uh, he he said he'd be there in a couple of hours now the pump itself uh, it was a temporary repair we'd done on it but it needed to be replaced so we yeah. said let's go ahead and replace the pump I'll be there in two hours I have to cash in my pocket so uh, our technician rang me, and uh, so I wouldn't authorise him uh, to replace the pump. So I spoke with James, and um, so uh, I said, "Look, we need payment in advance for the pump, you know." So mm-hmm. he said, "Look, he's on his way up from from Condra on the train, uh, and uh, he will uh, he has to cash in his pocket." Now it was a bit odd because uh, I could hear the sound of you know these the Lewis uh, train uh, uh, yeah, the Lewis the, 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 the bell, yeah, the the bell yeah, yeah, of course. I heard that in the background. Yeah. Which I thought no, which I don't think that's on a normal train. But he, um, but anyway, so he he said, look, I'll ring you back then in ten minutes. We never heard from him. He left our guy waiting there for two hours. So uh, so we tried to contact him down for payment, and we were chasing him for a while. He's giving us all the run around, and then eventually I said, look at James. You know, you had a guy out there for two hours on a Sunday on an emergency basis. Yeah, I, yeah. I need this money. So I said, look, I'll call up and I'll pick the money off you. And he said, you. I look, he said, he said a similar thing where he said to other, other guys there, he said, if you, if you come near my property, he says, you'd be trespassing and I'll shoot you. Now, I, I looked I, I looked him up online and I saw that he, he, he had a, he was convicted, uh, I think in Balbriggan Court, I think it was, uh, for, for stealing and it came out in the paper that he had a, a conviction as well for firearms offence. So, needless to say, we didn't go near the property. Uh, again, what after that, we just wrote the money off. You know, it's just... Yeah. He just seems to be a, a bit of a strange individual. Well, it's, uh, it's more than strange at this stage. It's chilling, some of the stories we're now hearing. 
Well, it they've is. Taken actually, a, they've I'm taken a different turn in my eye in terms of. Uh, I would have yesterday. The stories were just warning people not to do business because people, no one, no one had been able to get him to court. The Gardaí had been called by him on a number of occasions with people, and they kind of said it was a civil matter. So people kind of like well, yourself yeah. gave up. I did. I called the guards about it, you know, saying that he, he, he made a threat to me. Yeah. Or I was a threat and they, and they told me I had to, I think it was, uh, what's the place there in the mead? I had to, um, um, where to be? Oh, I can't think of the place now. Where you told us, station, you have to, to, to call. And I rang them and said, it, you'd have to come down and make a statement. And look, to be honest with you, I just left it. Know. You know, there was, you know, just, just leave it, you know, because the guy is, um, he's obviously, he's obviously strange. But it's just when I heard people there, his name, I didn't hear you yesterday, but today mm. I just heard him. Is that James Carey says, so I thought I'd ring, you know, put my puppets yeah, in there. Well, yeah, well, he definitely it's... is. He, he, now, he actually wants us to replace the pump, which would, which is over a €1,000 for the pump. And he said he's on his way with it. So had we done that, no doubt we wouldn't have got paid for that no, either. No, you wouldn't. You know? no, you wouldn't. So, OK, yeah. Patrick. Patrick Skelly, you mind, your, you mind yourself. My, uh, joke, his thanks. two relations. Bye -bye. Thanks, Patrick. And the other Paddy as well. Michael Frayne and John Farrell. John Farrell, what, what, what can be done? This is, this is chilling at this stage. This is dangerous. Yeah, well, These threats. I'm, I'm listening to people there saying they made statements to the Gardaí and stuff like that. Like, I brought my mother down to make a statement to the Gardaí after she was threatened with, it, to be, with the same thing, to be shot. Yeah. But she wanted to go in and try and, like Michael said there, he built the walls up, he imprisoned our grandmother in the house and we tried to get her out of it. Okay, the Gar so, so you, yeah, the Gardaí, what did they do? The Gardaí, they basically went down and they said, look, listen, we, like, we can we look into this and my mother heard no more. So this man is going around. And I'm talking 10, 15 years ago, Joe. I'm not talking about yeah. last week or That's what I mean. Ago. That's what I mean. Yeah. This and is ongoing going for 20 odd, maybe 30 years maybe. This man who has a conviction, a this man who has a conviction for shooting people yes. is threatening to shoot people. Yes. And you're saying the Gardaí, you brought your mother down, the Gardaí yes. have not come back to you on it? No. No. We've heard nothing. We, he... He 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 done this. Like, he's 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 very intelligent when it comes to everything, really. And he he set up a thing that he it, it bombarded my mother's Facebook page and stuff like that with with disgraceful accusations against her to the point where she started making recording it and taking pictures of it so yeah. she could show all this stuff to the to to the garden. And she brought it in as part of her statement and all as well. Like Michael can 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 back up all of this as well. And all of this was done and nothing, nothing. It's like it's like he's like you said there, Walter Mitty. It's like he can do anything he yeah, wants. Yeah, but no, but what? Sorry, no. Walter Mitty was a wrong analogy. I yeah. now realise because yeah. Walter Mitty didn't kill anybody. Sorry, yeah. didn't true. shoot anybody yeah, or true, threaten yeah. to shoot anybody. But he, he he seems to he seems to think he can. That but he can he, go he, through life unchallenged. Well, he he has, he yeah, has. That's it, exactly. Yeah, that's it. But we've and like, he's continuing a, to this day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. You know, okay. I mean, well, John, John, I'm sorry for all of this. It's not. It's nothing to do with you. I know you're. His no, cousin, no, no, no. Well, no, we've like we've we've complete as a family. We've disassociated ourselves from him. Yeah. And we've like we don't we don't consider him a family anymore because of. Of what he had, what he done to our, to our grandmother. She was our, she was she was the life and soul of our family, and that's basically it. This woman lived till she was nearly a hundred and three, to the point where, when he turned up in hospital, shortly before she died, the family set up a cordon around the hospital and wouldn't let him in. Yeah. You know, you, you couldn't, you couldn't trust him to come in. You couldn't trust what he would do, what he would say, the way he threatened the family and stuff like that, because of all the financial irregularities that came to light and more there's more still coming to light that he that we had no idea he was involved in as well and if he's doing if he's capable of doing this to his family i don't even want to consider what he's what he's capable of doing to to, to somebody he doesn't Strangers. even know yeah. you know and no like i feel sorry for them i really do because like like hopefully now something like this is going to highlight it enough that it gets around enough that it kind of warns people to basically just stay away He's just dangerous, you know. This is this is what has me gobsmacked, John and Michael. <laughs> yeah, too. Well, that, that, well, you and me both. Well, like I tell you, we've been living with this for since I don't know since since his accident, basically. Now, and I'm not saying the accident was the cause of it because yeah. he was no way he was no angel before that. But what it, what what happened okay. with the accident was 
it, it, it gave him a, an avenue to go down and to, to resource his lifestyle that meant he didn't have to work, he would never have to work. And he is, the chocolate never worked. He's never, I don't think he's ever worked a day in his life. Is there Airbnb, is there Airbnb uh, renters staying in his house now? Oh, I'd say there is, yeah. yeah. Now, now, none of us would ever be allowed near the place. I know that, and you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't like want to would, go either, I know. Yeah, oh, no, we wouldn't. No, okay. absolutely okay. no, you couldn't. Well, John, you know? John, I don't know what to say. Condolence is the wrong word, but uh, sympathy, people don't understand, and they, uh, by the way, yeah. I think people also would appreciate your your courage as a cousin coming forward, yeah. telling the story, and Michael Frayn as well, and contacting yeah. us from the UK. So, Michael yeah. Frayn and John Farrell, I, I wish you both well and your extended Thank family, you. and hopefully something can be done. Mm. It, it's a garden matter, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I would just uh, uh, like, I would just warn people to just basically give them as wide a berth as they possibly can and that's it you're saying you don't, don't go near them no no that's, no and no in terms of doing work and stuff like that just yeah. stay away you couldn't you couldn't okay you know okay okay John Farrell and Michael Frayne thank you both five one double five one.